Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be adding on to my Hourglass Fitness series. We are going to be talking about my top tips on getting an hourglass figure. This is just a set of things that I have learned over the past few months and I've gotten like really good results, really fast results. So I was like, oh my goodness, everyone needs to know this. There are probably a couple things that you're doing wrong. I just really want to give you guys the tips that are going to help you get there the fastest. Just by changing five little things in your day-to-day -day workout habits, you can get to your desired result faster so we're gonna talk about it i'm super excited to do these videos i love the fact that you guys really like my fitness and workout videos i definitely encourage being active especially during this time we're all inside we can all use a little activity or indoor workouts so before we get into that i actually really did want to invite you guys over to my instagram it is where I post the most, it's where I update my status the most, that's like where you can contact me or ask me questions the fastest, the best way. At the same time, I'm also hosting a giveaway right now. We hit 70,000 subscribers and I just want to show my thanks and everything. I do partner up with a couple brands and I had reached out to Berga and asked them if it was okay for me to give this away and they said that I could, so I'm going to be giving this away. Um, it comes with the backing cover that... Is over there but it's pretty cute so I'm gonna be giving away this case right here as well as one of these spin care skin systems it's are amazing if you do want to enter to get the chance to get one of these prizes then I recommend that you do follow me on my Instagram because that's where I'm gonna be drawing the winners from and that's where I'm gonna be announcing the winner so yeah just wanted to get that out of the way all right so the first very first tip very first thing that I want to mention um, I feel like it's really important for everyone to just have in the back of their mind have in their head when they are working out I feel like your main goal should be trying to become more healthy of course have a body type goal I'm like hardcore body positive like girl power I don't really think that there's one body type or one look is better than the other honestly like Whatever you got going on, just work with it. Of course, there are ways that you can enhance your waistline and get fuller, rounder hips and everything, which is what I'm going to be talking about today. But I do want to make sure that you guys know and feel good about yourself. You know, it's just like genetics play a huge, huge role in how your body is shaped, how your body looks. When you work out and when you eat right, you're really just giving your body the proper tools that it needs to be able to fully express its genetic potential. I'm naturally on the slimmer side and I found workouts that help me get fuller and rounder. So if that's you, then we're right here. If you're naturally thicker, there are also ways to tighten up and tone up, which is exactly what I'm going to be talking about today as well. So we're just really going to be covering everybody. There are just little things that I changed in my workout and in my diet that changed the way I looked really fast. It was crazy. Like I will put a side by side or whatever on the screen or the before and then the after. When we are thinking of an hourglass figure, the main body parts that we picture are the waistline, your stomach, hips, um, and your thighs. Those are like the main key and also your back as well. So those are like the main key parts in the hourglass figure. When you're focusing on leg workouts, legs, the main thing that you want to do is build muscle you want to focus on muscle growth and you can do this by using weights when you're working out now i know this is kind of difficult now when we are all inside and there's like no gym open and if you don't have weights at home this can be a problem but there are a bunch of workouts that focus on muscles that give you that nice figure that reduce your hip dips if you do have hip dips i actually made a workout video all about that i'm going to link into the description so you guys can go and check it out go through the routine it's really quick and it's great for getting wider hips you do want to focus on muscle growth and you can focus on muscle growth by increasing the amount of food that you eat specifically protein so when i was working out last year I would eat more, like I, incre I increased my calorie intake, but I didn't intentionally increase my protein intake. I wasn't really taking, I wasn't taking protein, not even like, yeah, no, 
this time around I decided okay let me actually just go full throttle and really like try to do this you know I was taking my protein after working out and everything and that's when I really started to see the mus the muscle definition that's when I started to see my butt bubbling like that's when I got a bubble butt my butt is like much more lifted and toned now because of it and next and in these next couple weeks coming up, I'm actually going to be making a video just focusing on the glutes. I'm going to be showing you what I did and what I do right now for at-home workouts. Fire hydrants are really good on the hips, um, especially when you do them on a 45 degree angle. Again, workout video is going to be linked in the description. I don't want to make this video too long. Um, the next thing that I do want to go into though is I want to talk about our abs and the best tips that I can give. I find that it actually is pretty difficult to work on lower abs. So if you want to achieve the hourglass shape faster while you just work on your overall physique, do workouts that focus on your external oblique muscles. So just the muscles that define your waistline. Um, so things like Russian twists, like those always helped me. I did, I would do a bunch of those and focus on my external oblique and my waistline because that's where I wanted to see results. I wanted my body to go in like this. Focus on those muscles, do workouts that focus on that, but also try not to use weights. Because the thing with weights is that you can actually bulk up, like you can, you can increase the muscles there. Then it's not going to be the hourglass shape that you want. There's nothing wrong if you do want to bulk up that area and get like thick abs there. Like there's a lot of female bodybuilders that you can look at that have that physique and there's nothing wrong with that. But I'm guessing if you're watching this video, you do want a waist that like goes inward. Try not to use weights when you work out. If you're going to do, if that's the body type that you do want, if you do want an hourglass figure, try not to use weights when you do your ab workouts. Just stick to your natural body weight, do a bunch of planks and stuff. I also have a video on a bunch of really amazing workouts for your abs that can get you results really quickly so i'm also going to link that into the description and you guys can go watch that and you know we have so much free time you can come out looking like you used your time productively and you really worked on yourself this is like the best time to really focus on you take advantage of it guys now when it comes to overall being healthy and like getting the figure that you want you do have to lose some fat or shed some weight just to keep your body toned so i love cardio for this like literally guys you can do anything for cardio you can do jump roping like you can skip rope or you can put on like one of those zumba dance videos on youtube and like dance to it before you get into a workout like just get your heart rate up, get your whole body moving, jumping around, like burpees is really good. Like cardio, cardio is actually really good for the whole body. So I usually start with 10 minutes cardio just to like get my heart rate up. Sometimes I do 5 minutes, sometimes I do 10 depending on what I want. Like cardio is a really good way to shed some weight. Like I said guys, I am going to be coming out with a leg day routine specifically for the booty, for the glutes next week so i really want you guys to stay tuned for that so make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you are notified when that is up when it comes down to leg workouts i think the most important thing to focus on is hips hips and the glutes area because i feel like when you do squats that's more of a thigh workout um so so try to do workouts that focus on your hips as well as your inner thighs and your glutes that's where you start looking thick <laughs> thick 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 and um i'm more so just excited to really show you guys the leg workouts the leg and glute workouts are my updated leg and glute workouts i do ha already have a video uploaded and i'm gonna link it in the description and all of these workouts focus on like they specifically focus on the muscles for your hips and for your glutes because I really wanted it to help, I really wanted to make a video that um, was helpful for people who wanted to like specifically get rid of hip dips or to specifically 
um, tone that area of their body. Those are like my favorite, my top tips. There's a bunch more. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that it helped. I hope that these tips were helpful and informative for you guys. Um, also, the notification squad shout outs for this week goes to this person on the screen. So I want to say thank you so much for watching my video. Thank you for commenting. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. If you want to be featured in my next video, all you have to do is subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified whenever I upload a video and be the first to comment. Um, I usually do two, but this week I did one. So if you want a chance next week, just be the first two to comment and I will give you a shout out. That's pretty much all. Stay safe, stay healthy, please stay inside, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.